Hi, it's Chris Watkin here and I'm joined by Elaine Pennell, who is one of the UK's best home stagers. And today we're going to go through what she's been able to do. A house in the Cotswolds that had been on the market four years. And basically she and her team home staged the property and it sold for within 98% of the asking price within the first day of it being staged. Um, <laughs> Um, so here's a property in the Cotswolds, a beautiful house, if you don't mind me saying. It's Absolutely look, okay. gorgeous. Yeah. So let, okay, so let's have, it's so been on the market four years. Um, the new agent came on board, I believe, and got you involved and you sold it because of this. You sold it and the, the agent earned ooh, probably a good 30, 40 grand worth of fee because of your input and the agent didn't pay for it. So come on, let's look at the photographs. Come on then. Fantastic. So as you can see, oh, Chris, my word. Just, just nothing in the property. Beautiful oh, renovation, beautiful property. I thought property. it was lovely from the outside. Yeah, but, absolutely but, gorgeous. But, but, but that, that dark room with that, with that shadow, no. So let's look no at the after really. photograph. No, that's not the same room. Absolutely is. No Absolutely way. is. Yep. Okay. Yep. It's Someone, amazing, let's do another bit more. God dear. So this was a lovely kind of snug, or should have been a lovely snug at the back of the house, but just didn't feel felt yeah. very cold to be honest. Okay, that's a nice sideboard with with the mirror above the the sideboard. I like that. The missus would like that. Yeah. Couldn't attach anything to the panelling in here. Beautiful panelling, but um, um, okay. yeah. Yeah, so pretty good. Okay, so uh, was that, what's that dining room? So this dining... is the dining room. This yeah, is the dining room. Very so nice. Should have been, should have felt like a very grand dining room mm. where you can entertain all what, your friends. I mean, what sort of price range was this house? Coming round. This was um, three and a half. Three and a half million. Wow, where you yeah, go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you buy half of Lincolnshire for that. Well, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> is that the same room? And that's the that's same room. room. Okay. And in fact, that's actually even the same table, Chris. Right. But we changed out the chairs. Um, and put Very nice. Smart Mrs. Watt would love that. Would yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. So what's so that conservatory sort of thing? This yeah. room is oh, a oh, garden orangeries. room on oh, oh. orangery. Yeah, I think they call orangery. Uh, yeah. When you go over a middle, it's an orangery. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Attached to the kitchen. Love the shadows. So. Oh. Wow. Beautiful. Is that really I the same this, room? Uh, this was nah. my favourite room in this house. I absolutely love this room. Yeah, really love okay. this so room. Okay, so what basically, you've gone in there. What have you got? Put some furniture in, you've decorated? Mm. No, we didn't do any decorating in this one. It had been beautifully renovated, really beautifully renovated. It was just empty rooms and, and just, it was just empty. It was a house, not a and home. It just felt this very soulless. This it was is... so big. You know those houses that feel so big? And when they're empty, they've just got no soul okay. to them. Okay, and the vendor's paying for all this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So which room's this one there? So this is another angle on the same room. And you're looking here into the kitchen. Okay. So from the it end looks of the like, It looks like the back hole of the Calcutta there. Yeah, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> doesn't it? And that's it. that is not the same and room. And that's the same room. No. So now you're looking back past a dining area and then the kitchen. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So yeah. what's that? A bedroom? So, and then you're coming into a so that's bedroom. That's a dark room. And now got... uh, sorry, into another small reception room okay, downstairs. Okay, so it's got that, now it's got that little tub chair and, and it the, felt and the like such a small room, this, before we put the furniture in. And then do you suddenly know, it's really good size. Do you know, I can see myself there in the Cotswolds. Very nice, yep. yeah. But isn't it interesting? I can see myself there. That's what we're trying to achieve. And that's exactly so, what we're trying to okay, achieve. Okay, so uh, boring yeah. bedroom. Yeah, so very boring bedroom. Very nice. I'll tell you yeah. what, that's, that, yeah. that, that'll be on five star on TripAdvisor. Bedroom, bedroom facing the view now, you see, because yes. now there is a view. Very nice. That's about any other then notable more bedrooms. Rooms. Yeah, nice. So there was, okay, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so lots Actually, of before and after bedrooms lots of here, before and as after you can see bedrooms. on the screen. Yeah, yep. yeah. There is, in fact, a coach house with this one too. So we did the coach house as well. It was one of those extra parts of the property that could be used as a business or oh, could be used for entertainment. For grannies. Space, Do you rent grannies for... out for granny annexes? <laughs> I have two currently. <laughs> for rent. <laughs> there you go. Well, I tell you what, it's, it, it looks absolutely Sorry. amazing. And basically, the property had been on the market four years. You came in, the new agent came in, got you in, and basically the property sold for within 98% of the asking price. I mean, that's what a state agency is about, isn't it? Getting the bloody thing yeah. sold and earning the cash. Yeah. That looks yeah. really, really good. Um, tell me, how, how do a state agent uh, uh, get, bring you in? You know, because it, you know, it must be difficult conversations for a state agent to have. These days, I don't think as difficult as it used to be. We're very clear with the agents that we work with that they don't have to say 
anything whatsoever about how the property is presented, about the condition of the property, nothing. What they want to do is to win the instruction and they want to keep that relationship very, very good with the, with the vendor or with their potential vendor. All they have to do is to recommend or to ask for permission for us to give the vendor a call as a free consultation as experts in property presentation. And, and you can go along and you can have, you, you're trained in the awful techniques of persuading and showing, telling stories to get to get the vendors. We tell to... stories, yeah, we tell okay. stories, we show pictures. I'm a business coach by background, so I ask uh, people, you know, well, what are you looking at to buy? What are you inspired by? Where do you mm, think you cool. might be going to move to? Well, Elaine, you, you work for some of the big boys, Fine and Country, uh, Savills, Knight Frank. I know uh, a huge amount of the Fine and Country Network in the Midlands use you. Yeah. Sean Newman and Jonathan Hanford, big fans of yours. Absolutely. Uh, also a published author as well as our Elaine. Um, and as I said, I'm not being paid to do this video. In fact, Elaine's got to me money to be here, as is everyone <laughs> who sits here. But when Sean and Jonathan were raving about Elaine, I thought, do you know, let's, let's see what the lady's about. And I've been truly amazed. Thank you for your time today. Pleasure. Many thanks for having me.